Okay, here's the update for the the upgraded airless pump that I made. It's pumping about 13 gallons per minute. And you can look at the CFM gauge here. And it reads a little over 2 CFM. Not much. And this is a good pressure. The pressure, I don't know if you can see that. It's a 30 PSI gauge and it's running about 17 to 16 PSI. And I'm using a half inch poly tube for my air delivery on the airlift pump and an inch and a quarter for the output line for the water. And it's pumping so much water now that it's overflowing on my tank because I have it gravity fed here. I got goldfish in here and I have this screen so the goldfish won't get in there. And it goes down this inch and a quarter pipe and it's buried and it goes down to the pond where the ducks are and it fills the pond. But I had to take the riser pipe off down there because it was flowing so much. So I'm going to have to revamp that and maybe upgrade the size of the pipe or add two. So yeah, this is definitely working great. That's about 13 gallons per minute. And I've, I've messed with the CFM as far as upped it to three and upped it to four. And yeah, it raised my gallon per minute maybe by uh, maybe half a gallon or more. Maybe 13 and a half gallons a minute and maybe 14. But it's but I had to double my CFM, which wasn't worth it. So I'm gonna uh, order a compressor that'll do two CFM uh, at, you know, 25 PSI or whatever. Actually, I'm gonna overspec the compressor so I have some headroom in it. And I'll blow off whatever air I don't need in an aeration for the pond. And I'll just run another line down to the pond for aeration and, and blow that water off down there. So that's the update on the homemade airlift pump. And the homemade airlift pump was four feet long with the um, one foot from the bottom of the pump. You can, I've, I got pictures of it or video of it before this. I guess I'll post it. The half inch air goes in a foot from the bottom of the four foot pump. And that's basically all it consists of is a two inch piece of pipe connected to the end of this inch and a quarter at the bottom of the well and the pump sitting all the way at the bottom of the well which is uh, 68 feet deep and I pulled it up off the bottom of the well actually about that far so it's running about four inches off the bottom of the well so there's my update and that's pretty good results there for a homemade airlift pump you can see more stuff about airlift pumps on frytv.com and I'll have some links uh, to order some stainless steel airlift pumps from another website if you want to buy one that will last if you want to have it in the back of your truck beating around for cleaning out wells and the good thing about these pumps too is you can clean out the bottom of your well when you set them in there to replace them with. I replaced this pump here. This is why I did this. This was my one horsepower heavy 220 pump that keeps getting clogged up. See all that iron and clay? It keeps getting clogged up. So I replaced that and all this electrical wire that's running all the way from the house and this emergency pull rope. I replaced all that with a two inch airlift pump that's actually smaller than this right here. And, and it's about that light. This is about five feet, and the, the air lift that I made is four feet. So I replaced all that with a, a pump that's about that big and that light. And how I'm getting the air to this, this pump is, see this water hose here? I adapted this water hose, and it's kind of funny. I'm using a water hose to deliver my air. Um, and this water hose goes all the way up to the house into the garage and it's 300 feet long 
and I'll eventually replace that with a probably a one inch poly and bury that but for now this works so there's my update about 13 gallons per minute with 2 CFM and about 16 and a half PSI and the ducks are playing.